If you're looking for help fixing your Regency gas fireplace, look no further. Our comprehensive Regency gas fireplace repair guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and maybe show you how to repair your appliance for the home, kitchen, and beyond. Regency manufactures appliances that homeowners have come to trust. Even a trustworthy appliance requires occasional maintenance or repair. However, if you're in need of Regency appliance repair from experienced professionals, your local appliance helper can help. Thermocouple, thermopile, and wiring. The thermocouple is a metal probe that controls the gas valve, sensing the temperature and generating electricity to ignite the gas if necessary. Ensure that it is screwed in tightly and in the correct position. The thermopile, like the thermocouple, is a temperature sensor that generates electric voltage. They are commonly found on newer gas fireplace models in place of a thermocouple. If you have exhausted other solutions and believe you need to test or replace a component like this, make sure the other causes have been ruled out and call a professional to handle it. They will test to ensure your thermocouple or thermopile are working and fix any loose or inadequate wiring. Why does my gas fireplace smell? If your fireplace is new, there may be what is known as off-gassing, caused by residual factory paints burning off. This is harmless and should pass after a few fires. If the smell persists, check that your chimney is not obstructed and is cleaned. If you suspect the smell is gas, and the pilot light is on, you may have a gas leak. Shut off the fireplace, ensure your home is vented, and call your gas company or a professional technician. Why is my gas fireplace making a noise? Gas fireplaces will make some noise as part of the normal operation. However, there may be unusual noises caused by external issues. Rumbling or roaring noise this could be an issue with your pilot light. Adjust the flame to see if this solves the issue. Also, ensure that your burners are clean. Dirty burners can also cause this kind of sound. Grinding or shrieking noise this could be an issue with your blower. Call a technician, like High's Chimney, to determine if it needs a replacement. Pilot light. Pilot lights ignite the gas as it is delivered to the fireplace unit. Pilot lights can be blown out by an interrupted flow of gas or from a strong draft. When relighting it, make sure that you follow the manufacturer's instructions carefully. Another common issue with ignition is a dirty pilot light orifice, caused by a buildup of soot and dirt. If you have successfully relit your pilot light, ensured that the orifice is clean, and the fireplace still refuses to ignite. There could be an issue with the thermopile, thermocouple, or wiring, tripped circuit breakers, when the electrical wiring in your house has too much current running through it. Circuit breakers trip, or cut off the flow of power to prevent the circuit from overheating. Check your breaker box and reset any tripped breakers you come across. Old batteries. Depending on the type of gas fireplace you own, you may have a remote or receiver that run on batteries. If the batteries in either of these are dead, it could prevent your fireplace from igniting. It's worth testing your batteries to make sure you don't just need a fresh set gas valves. Make sure that your gas valve is open and in the on position to ensure the flow of gas to your fireplace. This should be located in the firebox. If you have an older model, a key in the wall or floor should be nearby. Thermostat. Make sure that the thermostat is set properly. Often, the issue is that the thermostat is set lower than the temperature in the room. Adjusting this to the correct temperature can sometimes solve the ignition problem.